As CARICOM member states, we have a golden opportunity, and as Cicero mentioned, of learning from each other. One of the pillars of CARICOM is that of functional cooperation. And functional cooperation seeks to look at what works in one member state that can be adopted or adapted across other member states. We are working on early childhood development in Belize and we have gained a lot of traction in terms of access and investment. And so other islands and especially those from the Eastern Caribbean want to understand how care for child development is implemented. The aim of bringing the delegation really was to expose them to the way in which Belize is using the program. It provided the opportunity to see the program being implemented in different settings. Now some of the countries have already had an initial training, but we have not yet moved towards implementation. There's a lot of discussion in terms of intersectoral collaboration, but again we struggle to, to see what that really looks like. Within our Eastern Caribbean, we are still very much working in silo. So education doing their bit, health doing their bit, social doing their bit. But now we've got to find a way to put it together, recognizing that for a child under eight, all of these services have to work hand in hand. You get the yellow postman on the line. Aha, the government of Belize has established an intersectoral partnership led by the ministries of health, education and human development that has created a really strong enabling political and policy environment for success in early childhood development. Because of this intersectoral collaboration, Belize has been able to move quickly from understanding the evidence around early childhood development and what it takes to achieve success um, to translating that into a national strategy that is guiding the work of not just these sectors but all of the partners that are working for outcomes in children. The ultimate lesson we shared with our Caribbean colleagues is that anything is possible. You can collaborate, you can cooperate together. It doesn't matter which ministry you are in. What matters is if you have the same goals and objectives. These activities are quite practical and something that we can integrate. Currently, we're doing a lot of home visits and we created a program for at home stimulation for parents. And I can see this fitting in brilliantly into it because our current program is not as interactive and it's not as hands-on with the parents. We're just giving them tips and creating manipulatives. But this sit down and actually walking parents through, I can see it being very, very beneficial in our context. And I think oftentimes we minimize or we have minimized on some extent the role of parents in the development of the children. And this program takes us back to seeing them as a starting point actually, which is a key place that they need to be. Looking at the Belize model, we realize that if we can get parents to buy into that and to understand how to do that, then we would be able to target more children because then children who do not access daycare would have their parents doing it as well as it will be done more often. So immediately I think that would be one of my take backs to begin incorporate into our parent workshops the importance of stimulating their children and more than that how to stimulate their children. R is for me. And Samba. Yes. <laughs> Actually when they see the picture you make the if they if they don't know the word they pick it up by the picture. I really happy because right now my little boy he the on a roll you know really surprised me you know <laughs> I push, I push my heart to me because I want some best for them, better for them.